Hi, I'm CJ Altenberg with TransWest Truck Trailer RV in Frederick, Colorado. So if you are in the market for a new small animal pin trailer with air ride suspension, we have a brand new 2023 Cimarron Showstar LX behind me, again with air ride. Before we get into this trailer and start showing you all the cool features and different options we put on this trailer, we'll go ahead and take a look at the drawing so you can see how it's laid out and go over a couple specs. So we're talking 26 foot on the floor, our front tack room is just shy of six foot. It's about five nine, right in there. We're eight foot wide being the LX model, that's standard. And then six four tall uh, as far as the height goes. Again, on the lower profile trailers, we'll talk about why we build them a little bit shorter when we start talking about the insulated roofs. But there's really, again, no reason to be dragging a really tall trailer uh, in, these type of in these type of trailers, especially with the pin system. You know, more than likely hogs, lambs, goats, smaller animals, we don't need that extra height. But again, an LX, before we start kind of getting into it. So Cimarron all aluminum construction. They have the best floor in the market, the strongest upright posts, and cap it off with an insulated roof. Everything else in between we can go over as well but that's a real good gist of what we're looking at when we're looking at the construction of a Cimarron. Eight year warranty, as far as structure goes itself, three years nose to tail, that bumper to hitch uh, warranty, and then you're gonna cap it off with a one year, no questions asked warranty on your tires. So they really stand behind the product, not just, hey, here's the trailer, you know, you're on your own. They wanna stand behind it and build you a high quality uh, product itself. So when we look at this trailer, one of the very first things you're going to notice when we walk up to it underneath the gooseneck area is this enclosed roll-up door. There's a couple things. I think it has some functionality and actual benefit to it from keeping everything nice and clean we have behind here. But this is a good looking trailer. I think it gives it a clean look when it's all said and done by having this enclosure. Uh, but again, mainly when you're when you are traveling, you know, again, it's going to keep everything we have in here again clean so spare tires located to the left of our hydraulic jack that is a electric over hydraulic equalizer jack we have an override on this system so in emergency situations you can manually crank this trailer up and down by pumping it uh, but that's a system that Cimarron uses believe me these are fantastic to have it's push a button up and down if you're traveling you know, you're, you have smaller kids, you know, juniors that are, you're actually taking to shows. Um, when you're hooking this trailer up, especially when you're backing underneath it, if they're guiding you, instead of you having to stop and you get out and hand crank it, I mean, they can literally reach up and hit the button and drop it down on the truck, which is a great feature to have. And believe me, it's nice, especially in these show trailers, if we're gonna leave a lot of equipment on the trailer, you know, you have your barn equipment, you have your equipment to leave in the barn itself. They can get a little heavy, especially up here towards the, the nose itself. So by able to push that button up and down it goes, it's, it's really handy. So what we did is on the bottom, we did this expanded metal. So that way it's, it is capped off. Um, you can throw some items down there. It's not gonna you know, fall right out the bottom. You can either do a solid piece of aluminum, this expanded metal, or you can have this just the enclosure, but then it open on the bottom. We like to go ahead and finish it off somehow Look, if you want to throw some tools in there, those type of items, maybe a, a ramp, bottle jack, those tools to change a spare a tire if you need to, you have that capability. Over to the right of the jack, you're going to notice some uh, actual brackets right there. That's for a portable generator. So you can set a portable generator right there, strap it down. Again, it's behind this enclosure. Um, now, listen, you don't want to be running it unless you vent that exhaust out the bottom of the trailer when you're driving down the road when this is closed because it'll get too hot. But when you get to a show, you can roll this door open, fire it up, it vents out the bottom, obviously, with that expanded metal, but you actually need to run your exhaust pipe down and out of the trailer uh, or it'll get too hot in here. But that's awesome because a lot of these trailers you're actually showing off at a lot of these, especially early spring shows, uh, early summer shows, having power right here at the trailer is a great feature to have. But again, you can secure that right there. And I'll show you when we get to the inside, but it's kind of hard to see. So you see this aluminum box, but up behind there is the actual plug where you would take that portable generator and run it up there and plug directly into that outlet right there. So I'll show you again when we get there, what we're doing with all this power and how beneficial it is to you. 
So you got the battery box to house a single battery. You can add an additional battery in there. There's plenty of space in there. You've got your battery disconnect, which is standard with the hydraulic jack. Now, a couple years ago, it wasn't. We like to add those on, but now that's standard. So if you leave a light on, as long as when you park this trailer, <laughs> you can turn that switch to off and it'll kill all power to this trailer so we don't drain a battery. The very last thing underneath here is over to the left, we actually have our compressor for our air ride system. It's all self-contained, so it's a real easy system to use. It's on, it's off, it's raised, it's lower. When you're pulling this trailer, you want that air ride on and in the raised position. It's that simple, and that's all you have to do. We'll talk more about that air ride itself, but again, you're not needing an, you know, an external air source you know, on the truck itself or anything like that to run this air ride system. It's all right there for you. Now, over the years, we've gone with bigger tack rooms, so started out with a four foot and it's expanded from there. So this one here has, a, again, just shy of a six foot front tack. You have a step going in here, so again, you're not going from ground to this bottom door frame. That's a big step, especially with juniors, hauling things in and out. It's nice, easier transition getting in and out of this tack room. Now, as we get in here, there's a couple things. <clears throat> So up on the deck, we have carpet, same on the, on the drop wall, but as you can see with an eight foot wide trailer and then the depth of this gooseneck. So standard is eight two on Cimarron's, but when we enclose that front end, it goes to nine foot. So this is a nine foot deep nose. So talk about a lot of storage up here. We've got a bar that goes across just to hold items from actually shifting back. LED light up in the nose. Then over here to the left, so again, I showed you that plug. So that power will come right up here into this 30 amp breaker box we have. And then you're also gonna have, we go ahead and put a, a converter on here. So when you are plugged into power and putting power to this trailer, it'll actually convert over and then charge our 12 volt batteries as well. So we're charging that battery system itself, but then also plugging in, you'll have an additional plug in here, you know, maybe phone charger, computer, anything like that you need. Behind there is gonna be a shelf with a clothes rod so you can hang clothes for the kids, hop in here, go ahead and change, get ready for the show. More LED lights, plenty of lights in here. And then behind me in the partition wall, we've got a couple things going on. So we carpeted the whole partition wall. We put these big utility hooks that Cimarron's built. So instead of the old bridle hook style that we took from the horse trailers, and tried getting them over here on the livestock side. The problem was when you had big hoses, big cords, they would always try to fall off. These are a lot deeper off the wall. The spacing is fantastic and then really tall as well. These are aluminum powder coated, so these are nice and stout, but you wanna talk about being able to hang up larger hoses, larger cords, so things aren't falling off. These are a great feature. We can always add these to trailers as well, um, add additional, so those are items, again, after the fact, we can always add to trailers. And then below that, you've got a couple rows of airliner track. So it's, it's, it, this airliner track's really become popular because you can get different uh, pieces that actually lock in. Cimarron builds a fold-up, uh, basically bracket or stand for some of your feed additive buckets, anything like that. Uh, you can do hooks in here as well. So if you have feeders with carabiners, you can just hook them on, but you can move them around if you want. And then if you have other items that you need to get in here and secure, you know, you can do the hooks and then just ratchet strap, bungee, whatever you need to down, and it secures it against that wall. And then we don't have those items rubbing against the actual aluminum itself by having the carpet. And then as you're prepping feed, or you got a junior again getting ready to go to a class, you have your pass-through door that goes directly into your stall area. So again, you can prep in here and then walk directly through to the stall area by having that pass-through door. Two other things, you have your boot box here on the drop wall. It's an 18 inch, so your bigger buckets can fit in there. Works as a great bench for you, storage. Uh, also as a step jumping up into the gooseneck area itself. And then the very last thing is this gray rubber floor. So we're doing a lot more of this in trailers, whether it's livestock, our toy haulers that we build, and then even on the horse trailer side of it in tack rooms. It's awesome because it's not the rubber mat. 
that items can still get underneath. So it's a solid piece that they go ahead and silicone around at the edges. Uh, and then also it's not the carpet on the floor that can, you know, stain over time, hold the smell really bad, um, you know, especially in those high traffic areas like the floor. So that's a, a feature that we've been doing a lot here lately is upgrading to that gray rubber tread flooring. All right, so as we start looking into the stall area, you'll see we have our side ramp coming off of the very front pins there. You can see through the trailer right now because we have our access door as well open. Uh, we go ahead and put the extra panels over the ramp and then that escape door. So again, if you're showing off this trailer, you want to open it up, get more airflow in there, you can drop these. We don't have to worry about, you know, our projects trying to come out the trailer itself, especially if you drop this ramp. You know, nobody wants a hog jumping in their lap or a lamb or goat. So they're secure in there, but again, you can keep that open. It's nice to be able to come on and off this side ramp as well. LED lights, button lights on top rail, those are standard. Those came standard a couple years ago. Not a big power draw, but they put off a good amount of light and these trailers look really sharp at night when you have them all lit up. Uh, we built some with a lot more lights. I mean, if you're looking to custom build, we can do about whatever you want. I've seen everything from a light every foot apart with a foot on the uh, uh, matching on the bottom rail a foot apart to match on the t upper rail so can look like a chicken hauler if you want it to that's not a problem we can do that you're also going to have a 16 inch awning light kind of between that front tack door and then that ramp door uh, just it's nice to have some exterior light as well now on the lx you're going to get your drop windows so used to be years past, you know, we'd have the stock sides with plexiglass, but you know, we've gone pretty much everything in inventory to these drop windows just because of airflow. Uh, also, if we need to seal it up, uh, especially in the winter time, if you're traveling, you know, it's a much better seal. You can control the temperature in the stall area a lot better than just the stock sides with plexiglass. So again, you've got the drops that's standard on the LX, and then you see the lower air gap that aluminum slat that folds down. We can get a, a lot more air into the stall area, again, rather than having just a, a plexiglass air gap there. But boy, it's sure nice when you are traveling, you know, in spring here in Colorado, I mean, we'll have days where, you know, it'll be frost and we're below freezing in the morning. And then, you know, we'll be up to mid seventies today. So big temperature swing. So if you're going to a show early in the morning, it's cool. You want this all shut up. You can have those flipped up but then it's real easy if you need to stop and get that, that air movement down low by flipping this actually down itself. Now, there's an added piece. You do see a plexiglass on the inside of that. We'll show you that when we get to the inside and why, we, why that piece is added to this trailer. Now, okay, two 7,000 pound air ride axles here. We have 16 inch wheels, aluminum, the black with the silver as well. And then we upgraded to G-rated tires on this one. So instead of a 10 ply, we went with a G-rated, so a 14 ply, a little heavier duty tire on this. Uh, this is a really nice trailer. Let's not skimp on tires itself. Let's go up to a little bit heavier ply. They're nitrogen filled, so we don't have big fluctuation, fluctuations in PSI compared to air itself. Uh, there is a misconception and people, some people think that you can't put air to these nitrogen filled tires. If you get in a situation where you have a low tire, you can put air to it, totally fine there. But one year, no questions asked, warranty from the supplier, Lion's Head that Cimarron uses for their wheels and tires. Um, so road debris, blowout, uh, catch a nail, can't be patched, anything like that, you're covered for one year. So again, they stand behind even the tires as far as that's concerned. Now you're gonna notice this door is wrapped around here. <laughs> so over the last couple years, we have gone with these wraparound hinges on these rear doors. Again, by going to shows and just noticing the old style uh, hinges made these doors come off on a 90 degree. So when you're parked at a show next to other trailers, I was watching people constantly open and close doors, letting hogs or walking lambs or goats by. So wrapping these around, just it's convenient. It gets them out of the way. Again, you're not having to walk around a door. Uh, again, just from a convenience standpoint, that's the way we've gone with these. Everything in inventory, as far as our show stars, have these wraparound hinges for that reason. 50-50 rear ramps. 
kind of a flip of the coin. Some people prefer a, a full width solid ramp. Some people like the 50-50. Uh, it's a little simpler for, again, the younger juniors when they're 50-50, just because of the split in it and the weight open and closing them. Um, but honestly, the big springs that Cimarron uses, everything's nice and easy getting them on and off. Now, we have this trailer aired up right now. When you're loading and unloading, I suggest that you drop the air on the trailer, just because what it'll do is it'll drop it down the whole box about two and a half inches. So these ramps aren't as steep, steps aren't as big getting in and out loading tack or our projects back here uh, again just a smoother transition for them if possible a couple other things going on we've upgraded to backup lights that's a really small feature but boy is it handy and boy is it gained a lot of steam <laughs> we started doing it on some inventory and that's the way we're basically building a lot of the trailers think about where your backup lights are on the truck they're a long ways from the back of the trailer and we know that you're gonna be backing in to places in the dark, some familiar, some unfamiliar, so it's nice to have that light coverage there. Then you're gonna have two 16-inch awning lights up on the top rail. Again, more light coverage for you. Everything's on an individual switch back here, so we can turn on the, each side, the back, the interior, anything like that by one switch that's actually going into each individual set of lights itself. Now, as we get into the stall area, so this is a 10 pin setup. These are adjustable as well. So as you can see right now, we're set at 50-50. And then if we need or want to build an alleyway or we need to make you know, a, a pin a little bit bigger for somebody, it's real simple. This system is that Simran builds. I unlatch from the post and I pull it out of the rubber socket plunge it into the next one and lock it in. Now we have a 60-40 setup here. So again, you can do this to the entire trailer. You can have an alleyway. Everything flows really well. We've actually re-hinged re when we were first building these. Everything hinged off the center post. So it's actually harder working in and out, whether you're coming off the side ramp or the back of the trailer, to where we started hinging off the right-hand side for that alleyway or the right-hand stalls so it was just easier getting items, you know, whether you're walking a hog to the show ring on or off, as you can see, we're not having to work around gates, anything like that. It just flows a lot better. So, um, you know, we're constantly trying to improve these, come up with new concepts, new options for you. Uh, but Cimarron's done a great job on actually going in and, and setting these to where, you know, we kind of know where each section goes. Now, over the years, I've said, if I need to gut this trailer, you know, I need to pull out sections of pin or pull out all of them. Uh, one thing I told everybody to do was go ahead and take a Sharpie and mark, you know, one, two, three, four, five, six, the post itself. So when you take them out and go to put them back in, you know exactly what order they go in. So there for a while, I kept saying, hey, it'd be awesome if you guys could stamp them. Well, if you look now here on the gates, we have stamp of five. And then up on top of the post, it's got it stamped there as well. So Cimarron's gone in and done that. So they've got them stamped for us so we know what order these posts go in when we take them out. That's the beauty about it. You can take out sections if you want to make a big stall. Maybe you want to throw a steer on, a heifer on. Uh, we've seen a lot of that in some of those instances with these gates. We've actually built gates that actually go on top of the current set setup itself. And then it works as almost like a solid divider or gate for you if you want to look at those type of situations. But again, this flows really well with this 10 pin setup. A couple other things we got going on. We did feed rods high and low, both sides of the center gate. So as, you, as younger projects get a little bit bigger and we need to move those up, you can do that. Two way roof vents that's capped off of this insulated roof. So that insulated roof is going to make a big difference in temperature control in this stall area. So that is standard on every single Cimarron. Doesn't matter what model it is. It will keep this stall area about 20% cooler than aluminum sheeted roofs. So we don't need that height of the trailer to get the heat away from animals. So we can build these a little bit lower profile. Um, you can walk in here in the summer and put your hand up here and it won't be hot. You go into aluminum sheeted roof and you can't keep your hand there very long. It will try to burn you just because of the heat it conducts. So 
we can keep the stall area cooler by that roof alone, two-way roof vents to manipulate airflow, drop windows that we talked about, and then that lower air gap. So the reason why there's plexiglass, there's an insert here at the bottom for that air gap, is in the winter time we wanted to seal it up just a little bit more. But if you want to, you can take that plexiglass out and store it in the tack room. So that's pretty much going to be your winter time or you know, sometimes uh, some customers will want to put AC units on here, so they want to just kind of seal it up a little bit tighter. So by having that plexiglass, that definitely helps. And then what you get is you get the line and insulate walls. So we capped that off with the line and insulate. You've got the aluminum. Again, we're trying to keep these animals in, as comfortable as possible, depending on hot weather or cold weather. Uh, one thing that they've always talked about too is, is the insulation of the floor. So on this, we went with worm flooring. Worm flooring will act like an insulator for you. So now we've done the roof that's standard, we upgraded the sidewalls, and then we just did it on the floor by having this. But worm is awesome because it's unpenetrable. You know, urine won't make it down to the aluminum itself. Uh, it's got a lot of grip to it. Uh, but again, in these type of scenarios, you know, we don't want to do rubber mats because hogs will, you know, be tearing mats up all the time. Um, but now we've got an actual rubber mat on the floor. So you're either going without mats or this type of scenario, in my opinion, is what you need to do. You can still bed really deep in here. The gates are up off the floor enough to where they'll still function. A uh, couple other things you have going on in here is if you wanted to add an air conditioner in here, we've actually gone in and put the framework for the air conditioner itself. So that's a real simple piece that we did at the factory that would be a little bit more of a challenge later on because this footprint here, we can just cut it out, drop an AC unit in here. We got, you know, a power source from the, from the side rail that we can run over to it. But after the fact, it gets a lot harder to actually weld these, these frames in. So there it's already done. It's a very small um, add-on for us, but we like to have that piece already on the trailer so if you wanted to add it on later after the fact, you can do that. Now, in the meantime, you're gonna notice we have some outlets. We've got a couple down the top rail, kind of spread out. Well, that's where our power source comes into play again. So we have that 30 amp breaker package that's gonna feed power back here. So if you wanna run some fans, maybe a small portable heater, something like that, you can do that. You have the power back here. We actually did, um, off of the top rails itself, or the, the, the roof bows. Uh, we went in and put some of that airliner track. There's little brackets that you can buy that literally, like a 12 inch Schaefer barn fan that doesn't hang down. 24s just hang way too far down in the stall area. So like a 12 inch fan, you can actually get the, the pieces to connect into these roof bows, move those fans where you want them, and then just plug it into your power and there you go, you can actually get some air movement throughout this trailer itself. So a lot going on here in the stall area. Um, really functional as far as the actual pin system itself. And by having 10 pins, you can go from 50-50 to 60-40, an eight foot wide trailer, you know, makes a big difference when you're hauling a lot of different projects and trying to keep everybody comfortable especially if you get into the later shows where everything's getting a little bit bigger, they need a little bit more space. It's nice to have that type of uh, a setup. Driver's side, there's that wraparound door again. There's your drops. There's that lower fold down slat. And then there's that access door going into that very first stall again across from the side ramp. Gate over it as well. Uh, so again, you can access from each side of this trailer into the stall area very easily. Now, that air ride, start talking to people that have had it, and the most common thing we hear is they'll never own another trailer without it. The benefits for your animals is phenomenal. Uh, it is an upgraded cost, but you start figuring in how many miles, how many shows, how many projects, the amount of money you spend on them, the amount of time you spend on them, we want them to get there and show at the highest level. And that air ride makes a massive difference on what it does for the ride for the animals themselves. Since it's a self-contained system, it, again, when we lower it, 
It's actually going to set on rubber torsion axles, has a shock kit that comes along with it. Uh, so if something happens to the air ride system, that compressor will lie in a bag, it sets down on rubber torsion axles, and you can still get to the next show, get home, get to where you need to to get something repaired if need be. Um, but believe me, the air ride makes a massive, massive difference. Uh, so keep that in mind, keep, you know, just take that added cost and then break that up, whether it's over the amount of years your kids show, the amount of miles you're traveling, the amount of, the, the amount of money you're putting on here as far as the projects themselves. And we're seeing more and more air ride trailers come into play on this Showstar, you know, the, the small animal side of it. Cattle side, we really don't even inventory uh, one of our steer wall trailers without air ride or we won't sell the trailer. I mean, it's that much of a, a upgrade and that much of a benefit to the customers themselves. And it's so sought after that that's what customers want. And believe me, that trend is definitely coming over here on the small animal side in these Showstar setups. Now, you have the polished extrusion, that's standard on the LXs. So it's a real sharp, clean look to the trailer, top rail, the extrusion, the bottom rail. Uh, you won't acid wash that. What you're gonna do is you're gonna citrus wash that. Acid will burn it, give it a smoky, hazy look, and then it has to be repolished. So just do a citrus wash on it. And then we did the charcoal metallic sheeting on this one. Matches a real lot, a lot of different color packages on the truck side of things um, that we're seeing on those. Uh, it doesn't show dirt really well, which is fantastic compared to like black. Uh, it'll actually hide kind of that, you know, when the wind kicks up and blows a little bit of dirt. You know, you always see that on those black trailers. It hides it really well on this charcoal metallic. Probably the most popular color besides the standard white that we see today. So I'm gonna give you the stock number on this trailer. It is a 2023 Cimarron Showstar LX 10 pin air ride. Stock number is 5N221900. We do take trade-ins, whether you're looking to upgrade, downsize, Maybe you've got a motor home, maybe you have a living quarters horse trailer, maybe you have a truck, we can take those in on trade. We also have financing available for you and delivery. So we have the potential to have this trailer show up at your doorstep. So give us a call, anybody on our sales team can help you out. That number is 303-684-3400. We appreciate you tuning in and have a good day.